Hello, my name is Amanda Burma. I'm with Frog Logic, and today we'll be going over recording new steps in an existing test case or script using Frog Logic Squish. There are a few different areas in Squish where you can begin recording new steps into a test case. We call those recording a snippet. You can begin recording a snippet from a test case without the AUT or application under test launched in advance, with it launched in advance, or from a breakpoint. You'd use each of them for a different reason. We'll start with recording snippets without the AUT launched in advance. With our script open, but without the application under test or AUT running, I'm going to begin recording new steps in my script. Now, whether I want to add them in the middle, the beginning, or the end, I can choose where I'd like to add those steps. So here we have start application, it's clicking, adding, typing, and after it's typing for a little bit, maybe I want to add something here. Now if I right click and cl click record snippet at this point, it's going to launch the application under test and allow me to begin recording, which may break the logical sequence of my script, but it still allows me to record steps. This may be useful when recording against multiple AUTs because the AUT statement for starting the AUT then is included in your test. Launches the application. I'm recording. I can now begin doing anything I'd like from the recording. And we'll click stop. Now when I click stop, you'll see the new steps that I've just recorded. Again, um, because I didn't have the application already running, it started the application for me. It's an action. It recorded it. So that's included in there. I can delete that action and then save other steps that I'd like. But this is why you may take one of the other approaches demonstrated in the video to record additional steps in your script. Now we'll look at recording snippets with the AUT launched in advance two ways the application may already be running. One, I can come up and select Launch AUT. This simply launches my application under test. Squish is launching it, so it is hooked into the application, and I can see the properties of the objects, and Squish can interact with this application. From here, if I return to my script, I can pick a line where I'd like to insert any new steps, and right-click and begin recording. So if I then get this application to a state where I'd like to begin recording, for example, let's say I would like to already be in this window when I begin recording steps. I can then come out to my script, go to the area where I'd like to begin recording, right click, select record snippet, and I can begin recording additional steps into my script. Then if I click stop, my new steps appear in my script. So these are my new steps that were just inserted into my script. Another way the application may already be running would be if I were using start AUT. From the command line interface, I'm able to start my application using Squish. Now that's different than simply going out to my application and starting it manually, because starting it with Squish enables the Squish hook so that you can begin working with the application at any point. Once the application is launched using Start AUT or the similar variations, you can continue recording against your test, again, by simply right-clicking and selecting Record Snippet. Probably one of the most common ways to record snippets is from a breakpoint. By setting a breakpoint at any point in my script, I can then run to that line and begin recording a snippet from the line. The difference here is, in previous approaches, I selected where I wanted to begin recording my snippet, whereas no matter where you right-click, it's going to begin inserting your snippet right at that breakpoint. I'll right-click, select Record Snippet, and now back in my application where the breakpoint occurred, I can then come in here, record additional steps. When I click stop, I am still in debug mode, so my new steps haven't appeared. But once the debugger stops or I resume 
to finish executing my test, I can then see my new steps that recorded. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on recording snippets. For your evaluation, go to froglogic.com evaluate. And for further resources, see froglogic.com resources, as well as the other items listed.